What's going on people? This is Shy Harris of the Rebel Society and this is another edition of The Process. Let me see. The Process. The Process. And The Process is the ultimate entrepreneur and creative tool guide on how to make money, market yourself, use social media, get retainers, do your contracts, all that great stuff in between. So but usually I've been doing like a lot of uh, conversations, which are awesome, but sometimes I just got to give you with the facts, hit you with just some tangible tips that you can make your business a little bit better. So this episode is all about creating a lot of content quickly that you can use for, let's say a good month or so. Like I said, I want to make this video pretty quick, so we're just going to hop right into it. The first thing I try to tell people when I'm creating their content is know exactly what you want people to come to your page for. So, like with me, my page is all about showing exactly what I do behind the scenes, the work that I put in, the clients that I work with, pretty much all that good stuff. So, if you are a fashion blogger, then you need to show people that different looks or, you know, you putting together outfits, you being a stylist, all that good stuff. So. Just find out exactly what you want people to come to your page for. If you're a personal trainer, then you need to show, of course, yourself working out. Maybe you working out with your clients. Maybe just talking about the personal training life, like pretty much all that. But that's the first thing. You have to figure out what people are coming to your page for. From there, then you need to really understand, like, this is this tip actually does not go for everybody, but if you want to have a color scheme with your page like me, my color scheme is a lot of black, whites, and sprinkles of red here and there. But I really like black, so I try to make sure that's like in most of my photos. Even if I'm wearing a black shirt, I have black shades, black watch, you know, my phone is black, my camera is black. So I try to make sure those are included in pretty much every piece of content that I do. Another thing that you want to try to make sure as well is aesthetic. With me, I like bright photos, but I like dark, deep, rich colors. So it might be a complete sunny day, but you might see some dark greens, some dark reds, some dark blues. You either like very bright California-ish photos, or you might like dark photos, you might black, like black and white photos, you might like all the tones stripped out except for one pop of color. So you just really need to figure out what is your color scheme, what is your aesthetic, and what works for you. Okay, so now when it comes to actual shooting, if you have somebody shooting with you and you're trying to get the most out of them for that particular amount of time, I would first say choose four to five outfits and choose four to five different locations that you want to shoot in. That's the way you're not shooting in the same location, in front of the same wall, in front of them on the same street for all your piece of content. People get tired of that real quick. So choose four different looks, four to five different looks and choose four to five different, completely different locations. Like with me, I'm actually about to do a shoot for myself, or my wife is actually about to do a shoot, shout out to Elle, about to do a shoot this week, where pretty much I'll be creating different pieces of content. So I'm gonna have one scenery that's gonna be in the city, one scene like an alleyway, one scene that's gonna be out in downtown, there's gonna be one scene where I'm in like a Starbucks, and I'm gonna do all that within the course of a couple hours. The key hack for doing this is keep your pants the same, but just change out your shirt. So usually when people have to switch different pants or dresses and all that for the ladies, that is what takes the most time. So if you're keeping the same pants on, then you can pretty much just throw in another t-shirt, throw in a polo shirt, throw on whatever, and kind of just keep the day flowing. So, cause usually what I've come to realize is that once people have to stop for a while, they gotta examine their looks and all this stuff, it kind of slows down the process, kind of slows down the momentum of the shoot. And then once you're actually out there shooting, you want to make sure that you're getting different types of looks as well. Not just from the clothing, but you might want to get a couple head shots. You definitely want to get a couple full body shots. You want to get a couple shots of you actually working in your craft. That could be you out here meeting with people. That could be you actually styling people if you're a stylist. That could be you actually training people if you're a trainer. Whatever your craft is, you need to get shots that you actually work in that. Um, you also need candid shots. A lot of people want to be like super posed up. They want to be, you know. But if you're not a model, don't pose. That's pretty much it. Like only models pose. Yeah, so if you're not a model, don't pose. I'm going to just leave it at that. If you're a model, don't pose. With the content, you want to make sure you get candid shots. You out here laughing. You out here joking. You on your phone. You're talking on the phone. You're just being in your natural element. Those are the pictures that tell the best stories. And that's what it's all about. Like, if you're putting out content, you have to, you, uh, it's all about telling the best stories. And another thing as far as getting the best shots is, you want to make sure you get a lot of detailed shots. Like, if you had a great watch, or you have a lot of tattoos, make sure you get a shot of your tattoos, your watch, 
If you got some flat kicks on, make sure you get a shot of that. Not everything needs to show your face. Like, if you're actually, you know, pretty, you know, decently built, like myself, I have, you know, impeccable triceps. Like, make sure you show that. Just don't, everything has to be straight ahead. Like, get some, like, also work on your angles. Like, make sure your angles is right. Get a low angle. Make sure you get, like, something with the camera down at your feet. To, you know, show that, like, going up. Like, you want to try to get as much different content as possible with every look that you put together. Also, I say put together, if you want to do video, then you need to get some great video content as well. Of course, if you're shooting this on the iPhone, get a, uh, do a couple boomerangs, especially for the ladies. Y'all make boomerangs look hella cool. Every time I do it, it looks trash, so I don't do it. But if you're going to do a boomerang, like, make it something look gentlemen, unique. Don't make it just like you're just sitting attention. at a table drinking your wine or whatever, your Prosecco. But make sure you're doing something. Story. You know that's kind of outside the norm and get some good shots of you doing that one of my another hack that i have as far as doing video content would have to be when you're doing video content the key to kind of making this work for you is pretty much to do yourself shooting an interview uh, a lot of people want to do a whole bunch of different stuff but if you're trying to have content that kind of is lasted out over the course of you know a month or so shoot an interview with yourself where you know you've even the person that's shooting it can where they're asking you different questions about how you got started, what are your goals, what are your aspirations, your journey to you getting where you're at, where you want to be at next five years, even random questions like favorite TV shows, what do you like to do for fun, what type of music you listen to, all that good stuff leads to good content. Alright, so even if you once you answer all those questions, you can break those clips down into a good, you know, a lot of pieces of micro content where you might have gave a great answer on one of those questions that could be something that's standalone. That doesn't have to be something that's put together in a long combined piece of content. Like you don't really need that. So just put together these short snippets of all the good answers that you put together and then that could be all your video content right there. Um, last thing is when you're getting your shots, make sure you get a lot of scenery as well as accessory shots. So when I say accessory shots, usually a lot of people do like the overhead shot where it might have their coffee cup, their watch, their shades, their phone, their laptop, all those shots. Those are great shots to get. Um, depending on what you do, you want to have the main accessories that you kind of deal with or use on a day-to-day -day basis, like all in those shots. It kind of, it really does nothing else except for it's a, just a great shot to get. But even if it's a shot of you drinking coffee, you might just want a shot with your hand holding a cup with the, uh, there's my dog in the background, Aries. Uh, but a cup with your, with your watch, it's a great shot to get. Scenery shots is if you have a uh, dope apartment that has you know a lot of greenery or you know whatever your natural go to, take a shot of that. Those are great shots to get. Pretty much any shot that kind of matches your aesthetic. Like if you have a grungy aesthetic, then it might just be a shot of an alleyway or something like that. Something that you feel looks dope. Kind of you know use that, and then the, the caption of that should really tell a story of why you like this aesthetic or you know what about this alley or whatever caught your eye so like i said everything needs to tell a story so and you can tell a story with pretty much anything you just have to you just got to be transparent and honest and what kind of drew you to that all right those are my tips that i have i hopefully that i was able to you know help you guys out as far as creating your own piece of content you're putting together great stories with your social pages which leads, always leads to engagement, leads to traffic, leads to sales, leads to all that. So, so do that. Make sure you follow that. Let me know how this works out for you. If for some reason you feel like you can't do it and you need a professional like myself, I'm your guy for you. Like, Rob Van Dyke. Rob Shot Harris. So yeah, yeah. So <laughs> that was real whack and corny. But uh, so if you're looking for somebody to actually handle your content, then definitely reach out to me. Go to rebelsociety.com, um, go to the work with us tab, fill out the form, and I'll get back to you so we can set up a consultation. So that's pretty much it. Make sure you follow me at the Rebel Society XXV as well as Shad Harris. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you share this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And 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 have a great day. Yeah, go create. That might be the way I end all these videos from here on out. It's been weeks since I tried to figure it out, but go create. Yoga! Lame!